Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. I'm the RNG News, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode, we witnessed a duel between Laura and Fee, and we got to know a little bit more about Fee's backstory. Afterward, we went through a bogus fight against Reen and Marcus. Reen did have access to his Assbreaker, but um, on our third try, we managed to blind him, and he didn't get a single, at, like, noteworthy attack in. Took out Marcus first. I don't think we actually ended up analyzing Marcus. <clears throat> ah, we did. Use the special bullets loaded into his shotgun to break through enemy ranks. It didn't give me a scoucher prompt, but prompt. But uh, since Fee took him out, we got the information, and Fee does have access to Dragon Vision. <laughs> it's the one. What does the tac what do, does the what do the tactics what are they saying? That's good. Never mind, that's not good. Of course Laura and Fee are gonna be linked now. And Mark is green. Alright, we've got new tasks, it's a new day, and we've got a ton of people to talk to. Let's see where we can go. We can go everywhere. There's gonna be a lot of people to talk to. There's gonna be a lot of people to talk to. <clears throat> Get that ready. All right, Taurus. There's a parade during the first day of this festival, isn't there? Ah, how exciting! I simply can't wait to see Princess Alphine's loveliness with my own eyes. There's a parade during the first day of the festival, isn't there? Ah. I expected the summer festival in Heimdaller to be much flashier than this, given all the talk about it. Back home, we wear floral adornments as we celebrate the festival. Floral adornments. Wait, did he say that same thing? Yeah. Alright, I've got something stuck in my throat, which is a bomber. Long ago, back when I was an instructor at the Music Academy, I had one student who stood far above the rest. She went on to become famous, fall in love, get married and have children, but she eventually lost her life to illness. Still, it was clear that she loved the life she led. Even on her deathbed, she continued to sing. Yeah, that's just how I feel about her. <laughs> Sorry about that, old men like me just love to reminisce. Fiona told me that you're walking around part around town as part of your field study. Just remember to go at, re at a relaxing pace, especially with Elliot around. He's not the most athletic person in the world. <laughs> and wow, I'm not sure I'm if I'm offended or touched by her concern. You know, if we had had Laura and Fee up against Reen, Marcus, and Elliot, I would have like it would have taken ten tries. Just saying. And an ass breaker too. While the Imperial Army had, had a, has a bunch of armed divisions, there are three in particular that I think are important. First up is the Third Armored Division, led by Lieutenant General Zex Vander himself. And you've got the Seventh Armored Division, who can tear across a battlefield with lightning speed. And finally, there's the Fourth Armored Division, who have more raw, raw firepower than any other unit in the military. That's the division that Lieutenant General Olaf Craig commands. If you think about it, that makes him the strongest man in Erebonia. Does it? Craig's the division commander of the 4th Armored Division, which is why people call him the strongest man in Erebonia. He's got a kind heart and is one of the bravest people you'll ever meet, so we're proud to say that he's from Heimdaller. You mean he's proud? you're proud to say that he's from the neighborhood? We always have a special dish just for the summer festival. Hmm, I'm not sure what we should do for this year, though. Last year, Fiona gave us the idea to bake musical note theme, uh, theme, theme cakes. But it's not like Hemming's gonna come up with anything great. I guess I might just ask Fiona again this year. Hmm. Hmm. She might have a recipe for us. Did you hear about what happened over at Matra Park last night? Apparently the HMP arrested some shady characters, so you better be careful if you're out over there. Worry not, we know what we're doing. 
Well, we'll get them if they show up again. <laughs> you two are doing this on purpose, aren't you? I wish I would have been there. That would have been a real scoop. Shady characters. Oh, is it that Reen and um, my or Laura and Fee did not end up getting arrested? That might be a thing. I feel bad for Ron since Mom's always forgets stuff so quick. He tells her that he'll be back late because of practice every day, but she forgets every time. The worst part is Mom forgets that she forgets stuff too. Yeah, th that's because why you are there to remind her. My son Ron is performing in a concert during the summer festival. I didn't know he had it in him. Maybe it helped that he had Fiona as a teacher. My son's taking part in a concert during the f summer festival. It's probably all thanks to Fiona. She taught him when he was younger, you know. But Fiona ain't that old. Where is she? We don't know. It's been over a year since they closed the Brazer Guild here. I, it was kind of a shock given how popular and effective they were. Apparently the best bracer they had back, w uh, back then was a woman, too. It's been over a year since they closed the bracer guilds here. I was kind of a shock given how popular and effective they were. That means the purple lightning Sarah used to be in this bracer guild. Intriguing. Strauss works over at City Hall. As it so happens, he's in charge of the decorations around here this year. <clears throat> around here this year. Which means it's easy for me to take over and lead him toward making the decorations about around here perfect. Ha 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 Strauss works over at City Hall. I can do what I please. Make sure you double up on the decorations around the tram track, Strauss. I'm sure everybody will like that. You do realize that the decorations were already planned out, don't you? No, I don't. Don't talk to me about random silly stuff like that. The summer festival's finally starting tomorrow. We only ce celebrated for three days here in Heimdaller, but I've heard there are some places where it runs five whole days. Kinda makes me jealous of the people in the provinces. The summer festival's finally starting tomorrow. We only celebrated for three days here in Heimdaller, but I've heard there are some places where it runs five whole days. Kinda makes me jealous of the people in the provinces. Alright. Alright, alright. I have not been able to go to St. Estrella's either, but we're gonna have to do that. Reen, we're gonna have to do that. You have to bond with your sister a little more. We need to know where that leads. Err, start in Martyr, Martyr Park. I don't think there's a request. I don't think there's a request here. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Port monster made for walking. Yep. And yeah. Oh no no no! Wait, what was the wait made for walking? Who is that? Ah, Lizage. Lizage. All right, security uh, security got increased back there, didn't it? Ah, <sighs> just coming here reminds me of last night's ordeal. Sounds like you had a rough night. The clouds are real cool. There was a cloud. It got dark all of a sudden. We didn't have a shadow anymore. Cool stuff. Oh, we might have had a shadow. I can just go and fight. I can just go and fight. But the little swamp monster down there is too far away. Urgh, Arena is in our active party again. Elliot, let go of that luck. I know you want this, but let go, let go. You better let go of this. Do 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 Okay, Reen, talk to me. You were just at level 39, I swear it. Now you're back at level 37? Dude. Dude. Movement 3, I don't think is necessary. Lock!
Their movement is enough. Eight movement is far more than enough. By far enough. Civil servant, we know you. You got drunk there last, uh, last night on the bench. We should get started on the decorations here soon. Especially since the garden, uh, garden party will be he held here tomorrow. We'll be in big trouble if things aren't ready by then. We should get started on the decorations here soon. Hey, just so you know, this place will be off limits this afternoon. Security needs to be tight since a member of the Imperial family will be attending the garden party. So we'll be blocking things off to beef up security. Man, I forgot that the Imperial Guard will be in charge of security here. It's going to be a long day. Is the garden party held in the Crystal Garden? That is interesting. But there's not that much space here. That is a cool thought, though. There's so many butterflies. It really gives the place an exotic touch, huh? Plus, it doesn't make sense that it's, it's the climate. The climate here doesn't make sense, doesn't it? Ah, you're putting up symbols of the emperor or of the the emperor's family here, huh? My grandson is a hard worker, but I can't just unload all the work on him. Let me give you a taste of what real elegance looks like. Cause the drawing that youngsters, uh, the, cause the drawing that youngster from City Hall whipped up isn't really much use. Every year they let me decide where exactly to place all of the decorations. Let me give you a taste of what real elegance looks like. Civil servant. Every year a member of the Imperial family attends the garden party. It's been a number of years since His Majesty last attended, though. As one of the organizers of this event, I can't help but feel a little disappointed by that. His Majesty Emperor Eugent seldom, Emperor Eugent seldom attends these fancy state ceremonies. As an Erebonian citizen, I can't help but wish he'd make public appearances a bit more often. To this day, I don't know what he looks like. You just need to carry the benches out, right? Leave it to me, stuff like this is my specialty. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate you helping out every year. You just need me to carry the benches out. I'm glad Gar Gar Garia is willing to help, to help us out every year, but it would be nice if he was a little less picky. He's something of an artist, and boy does that show. No complaints about his grandson, though. That kid is a huge help. I'm glad Garia is willing to let hel help us out every year. Alright. The garden party is held here. That is cool stuff. Do, 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 This park is so peaceful, it's easy to forget we're in the capital. I could take a nap here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people love to come here to relax. Well, I could probably take a nap here as well. Because there's only three people in this park, and it's quite large. So social anxiety wouldn't kick in here. Would be nice. Oh, they're practicing. They're at it again. Dude, have you gotten any closer to her? Or, I mean, she's still making you buy a bag, isn't she? Hey, I want to go see a performance at the opera. I want to see the diva herself up close. That sounds good. How about we get jobs at the opera house? We'd be able to see her every day if we did that. Hmm, what an amazing idea. Let's go apply as soon as possible. But I don't want to get a job. You can work there yourself. What? You should really not be with this woman? I mean, I know they're called purple goggles and everything, and they'll they'll get really troublesome sooner rather than later, but that, that effect fades, and, you know, a woman who is not willing to work but lets you do all the work... You guys are playing silent today, huh? Yeah, I get it. I mean, I have that 
like those kinds of days sometimes as well, I mean, I guess. But you could really, you know, I mean, I guess. Tomorrow is finally the day. I'm feeling pretty nervous now. I keep catching myself thinking about what'll happen if we mess up, but we've practiced so hard that it simply has to go well. We've been practicing ever since we heard we'd be taking part in the concert. Reminding myself of, of that makes me feel more confident. This is our last session before tomorrow's performance. We've been working so hard that I've started dreaming about practice. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck tomorrow. I'm sure you'll all get. Uh, you're all going to be great. Thanks. We're really uh, going to make this uh, this one count. It would have been ideal if we could use the practice room at the music academy, but alas, there's a lot of competition for it uh, around this time of year. But pra by practicing outside of it, we managed to get to meet Elliot, so maybe it was a good thing after all. <laughs> right then, let's get back to practicing. Hmm, that sounds pretty nice. That sounded pretty nice, didn't it? Man, that water, I could probably look at that all day. This is a nice looking area. Matra Park is always nice and relaxing. Just chilling out here, run, uh, out here running this stall is basically the perfect job for me. You won't see me running around doing grunt work for some big company now that I've seen the light. Matra Park is always nice and relaxing. Oh. Yeah, ha ha, so much so that I'm kind of hankering for a nap. Oh, you. You gotta sell your juice, though. Who's your favorite celebrity, Coco? I really like Lord, Lord, Lord Rufus. He's so dreamy. Hmm, I might go with Osborne. You've got weird tastes. Really? No way, he's no good. Even Governor Regnitz would be better. But, but he's so cool and refined. It's not weird to like him, right? No. Well, ask Oliver. He might tell you something. Something that you might not want to hear. Where's Garnier? That's the opera house in the hotel. We shouldn't have a quest there either. No Vita Clotilde. Seems like this leads to the hotel's VIP area. We probably shouldn't so much as look in there without permission. Do you think so? The, f the area farthest into the hotel is designed for the sole use of VIP guests. These tend to be internationally renowned individuals. In fact, its current, the, uh, its current occupant is Vita Clotilde. <laughs> I happen to be a huge fan, so this is quite the honor. Lady Clotilde truly is generous. It, it truly is gorgeous and quite the tease on top of that. As incredible as her singing voice is, it's only one of her numerous charms. Oh, my daughter exchanged her financial ambitions for political ones. Oh, my beloved daughter, you were once such an adorable child. Where did I go wrong? Are you even listening to me, father? Of course I am. At the very least, I'd like to attend the dinner party being held at Carol Imperial Villa. Do try to prove that you're not entirely useless by getting us in there. Oh, I suppose I have no choice but to see how far my connections can take me. Well, you seem to be having a, you seem to have enough money to buy her some kind of animal dress, but I mean, I can see where you're coming from. I can see where you're coming from. Right down here, there should be a couple of dirty rats. I'm gonna take care of those like right now. This is happening. If you want it or not, here. Two sets of dirty rats. Dirty rat men. Oh! 
Enemy sighted. Take him out. Too many dirty rad okay. men. Er, you don't quite have an ass break already. But if I do this, and I've got good reaction timing, which I I didn't, but Here go. I mean it worked. You don't have the luck wards anymore. Oh, you never had luck wards to begin with. That's that. Still feed. Done. But we can't relax yet. Still feed. No items. You do not have a lock quartz. Done. Done. <laughs> I did it! Hey! <sighs> Let's get this over with. Here we go! Was that that was most likely fee. That was most likely fee. Yes. The second form. Gale. Of course. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, guys, it sucks to be you. Wow. Ah! No. Broken. My turn. Zero arts. I wish. Nah. Oh, right. Now, an opening. Right. No. My turn. Do this. Not one shot. Oh. Targets eliminated. Let's get going. I would have liked to see what happens when you know. Two assorted grains this time. An A plus outcome. Nice, Laura. All right, enough. No. All right, that's enough. Just wanted to quickly, you know, check this out. Not, not grinding or anything, not yet. All right, guys, talk to me. Are you happy? Good day, everyone. Your work yesterday has once again made this a place where your customers can feel at ease. So please allow me to, to thank you all again. Thanks to your assistance, we were able to curtail any, any, any unfortunate accidents well in advance. So please allow me to thank you all again. The Garnier district should become ever so lively tomorrow with the summer festival. Even more so due to the Imperial par Families' parade. It may be well worth it may be well worth searching for a good vantage point for the parade in advance. The Garnier district should become ever so lively tomorrow with the summer festival. Even more due to the Imperial families' parade. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been asked to attend the garden party taking place on the first day of the festival. I believe it's being held in the Crystal Garden over at Madra Park. I rarely come out though I'm dollars, so I do hope I don't get lost on the way. I've been asked to attend the garden party. Alright. Chancellor Osborne, uh, Osborne always taking the feelings of the people into consideration. Is always taking the feeling uh, feelings of the people into consideration. He's done so much to make life in I'm Dollar easier for all of us. He's the man who brought about legal reform to ensure that the rights of us commoners are always protected. You'll never find a politician more respectable than him. Life in I'm Dollar has become an awful lot easier over the past ten years. That is Chancellor Osborne's hard work and action right there. You still have the same stuff. You do indeed. Long ago, this district was exclusively for nobles. As you can see, that's far from the case nowadays. The commoners now outnumber the nobles living here. Which I suppose makes sense when you consider the ratio of commoners to nobles in the city as a whole. Long ago, this district was exclusively for nobles. Mm, all the stones here seem like they they turn my wallet inside out. Stores. It it would be a waste to skip out on, on them after coming all this way, though. A little peek into one couldn't hurt, right? Ah. Uh. 
<clears throat> oh, how romantic! I'd love to be whisked away like that one day. There are so many interesting stories to hear about here. I simply cannot get enough of them. There are quite a few interesting anecdotes about the Opera House because of its long history. One such anecdote is that 180 years ago, the diva at the time was whisked away by an unknown intruder. Some theories even proclaim these two are lovers, but the truth of the matter remains unknown to this day. There are quite a few interesting anecdotes. Go inside. Whisk away that. Never mind. This is Heimdall or Opera House. It seems unrelated to Class 7's field study. Do you really think so? Do you really believe that? Prince Oliver's been taking part in events like these more often of late. It's a pleasant change, to be honest. They call him the debaucherous prince, but he is truly fa a fascinating man. Hmm, he's rather popular ever since he's, uh, his famous return to Erebonia on Liberals' Orsay, hasn't he? I've also heard much about his recent active involvement in official affairs. Rather popular, our Oliver. Rather po popular. It looks like the Crimson Tiara is attracting a good crowd today, too. The owner's really outdone herself this time. She always comes up with such amazing ways to attract customers. Looks like the Crimson Tiara is attracting a good crowd today, too. <laughs> Estimates of that tiara's value vary between 50 and 100 million Mira. Putting it on display was part of the store owner's plan to increase our shop's image. But the thought of having something that valuable around is almost terrifying to the employees. Estimates of that tiara's value vary between 50 and 100 million Mira. Putting it on display was part of the store owner's plan. But we're terrified. Well, you've got some other high-priced goods right there. I mean, let's not forget about that one for 34 million Mira right there. Are you really scared about that tiara? If you've got something for 30... Right, that's 35,000. Nope, that's 35... 4, 4 million, all right. I mean, I don't know what she's getting at. That thing is worth only double as much as what you've got right under your nose there. Some of these are way bigger than others, but some of them are way more valuable. I don't understand. I don't get jewelry. Ah, it's shiny! So shiny! A commoner like me has no right to even dream of owning something that's so luxurious. But I want it anyway. I deserve it for... Uh, for reasons. It's shiny! Estimated price, a hundred million Mira? Even if I slaved away my whole life, I could never earn that much. Yeesh, women are scary. Holding a special exhibition of the tiara for the summer festival is, produ uh, is producing exactly the results I'd hoped for. Hmm, setting this all up was no easy task, but my efforts seem to be paying off. Perhaps now the company president will finally recognize my skill and insight. Cordelia. Ugh, we're gonna have a request from you tomorrow. Hmm. Alright, you. We're expecting an even higher influx of customers during the summer festival. Hmm, I should probably consider ramping up security for the next couple days. We're expecting an even higher influx of customers. Zan Corriers. Alright, that's everything done in the Carnier district. Vancouver Street. We have a task there, we have a task here. And we have a task in Heimdall or Port. We do not have one in Dreykel's Plaza. People.
Tomorrow's the big day. The parade starts right here too, so it'll be very crowded here tomorrow. Hmm, <laughs> if you're planning on being in that crowd, you should start making your preparations now. Tomorrow's the big day. Prince Oliver isn't ex isn't Empress Pr Priscilla's son. His mother was actually a commoner. I've heard that as a child he was raised completely unaware of the fact that he was part of the f Imperial family. He doesn't seem to have an especially easy life, but by the sounds of it. But you wouldn't be able to tell that by looking at him. He's always graceful and silly, no matter what he has to deal with. I, I guess he's kind of cool, maybe? L let me just make it clear that I'm not one of those Imperial family fanatics or anything. I it's just an observation, that's all. Oh boy, that's parental influence for ya. Now that I think about it, we haven't had many opportunities to see Emperor Eugent recently. Empress Prisci uh, Priscilla rarely makes any public appearances either. Even we Imperial family fanatics only get about one chance a year to see her of that. Neither the Emperor nor the Empress take part in many events nowadays. I hope they're not sick or anything. Prince Eldri uh, Cedric and Princess Alphine are twins. They're so endearing, too. They've been Erebonia's as little angels ever since the day they were born. I'm having trouble reading stuff out. Because I ate right before this, and apparently, while digesting all that food, I, uh, you know, have to burp every once in a while. And uh, it's kind of not... I don't want that to be on, on the video, but I mean, I, you know. Give me a second here, please. They're so endearing, too. They've been Erebonia's as little angels ever since the day they were born. They really are this country's pride and joy. That's why I need to get a look at just how much they've grown this year. Prince Cedric and Princess Alphine are twins. They're so endearing. All right. Anton. Heimdall is one of the largest cities on the continent. Maybe it's here that I'll maybe it's here that I'll finally find something that'll change my life. How do you fancy my chances? Heimdall is one of the largest cities on the continent. Maybe it's here, uh, here that I'll find something to change my life. Anton's looking to change a part of himself, he says. Thing is, he doesn't know which part he wants to change. Which means it's about as well thought out as any other Anton plan. Nice, Anton. Nice. This area of is off limits for ordinary citizens. Turn back now, or I will shoot. All right, dig bag. I'm Dollars, a most delightful, si deceitful city, almost. Well, you may not realize it yet, but I am sure a time will come when this makes itself apparent to you. Do not be fooled by the love that currently permeates the city either. Once this festival's all over, all 800,000 citizens will forget this love ever existed. This is why I only come for the festival. Oh, Andre, Heimdall is a most deceitful city. Oh, Andre. Right, what do I still have left to do? First, I need to put up notices about the road restrictions, then check which stalls have permission to operate here. Ah, uh, there's always so much to do at this time of the year. Right. You know, for someone who has a lot to do, you look like someone who has got exactly nothing to do. You're just walking around in the same place over and over. This plaza is a famous tourist destination, after all. They're the ones who should find somewhere else to play. Or at least I think so. Hey, Tim, whose side are you on here? I don't take sides. I'm just proving an objective analysis. There's always like a zillion tourists and stuff here for the summer festival. Sucks, though, because we can't play around as much when they're all over the place. Man, who even cares about the festival? We ain't little kids anymore. What kind of loser gets excited about that stuff? Sorry, but you're gonna have to go somewhere else. There's always a zillion tourists. I mean, I get kind of excited about that stuff. 
This is amazing. You can really tell the Emperor lives around here everywhere, everywhere you look. There's another breathtaking sight. Hey, stop gawking and get moving. Don't forget that we are here to see the prince in tomorrow's parade. All right, no hidden quest. I am amazed. I was really expecting there to be one quest in one of those destinations where there wasn't a quest. All right, so we are going to start out on Vancor Street or in the Oz District, actually. But for the moment, this is enough. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, toodles!